every once in a while here on Weather World. We like to connect with alumni from our department and see what they are now doing. And I'm super excited about tonight's guest because she not only graduated from our department in 2015, she worked behind the scenes at Weather World and made a few appearances on air before she left. And now she's doing some really interesting work. So I'd like to introduce Christina Gropp. She's a 2015 graduate of our department. Hello, Christina. Hi, Marissa. It's so good to be back with you. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. Now, you currently work for the Institute for Business and Home Safety, which is down in Richburg, South Carolina, just south of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. But before you did that, you dabbled in commercial local broadcast television. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I did. After I graduated from Penn State, I immediately started working in local TV, which was the dream of mine that I had when I went to Penn State. I started on air uh, even before I graduated at WDEF News 12 Now in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I spent three years there as a weekend meteorologist. And like so many of us who start out in local TV, I started out also doing some reporting and digital content producing, handling all of the web content that the station put out over the weekend and that really exposed me to so many different writing yeah. styles and made me such a better communicator as well as a better forecaster and then that led you then to move on to the insurance institute for business and home safety can you tell us a little bit about what you guys do at ibhs absolutely so at ibhs we work at the intersection of severe weather and the built environment the buildings where we live work and play because Weather impacts these buildings, our homes, our businesses, our schools, our churches, everything, every day. And what is so unique about IBHS is we're working to find the ways that we can strengthen homes and businesses against severe weather to reduce the impact of tornadoes, hurricanes, even wildfires and hailstorms. So what exactly do you do there at IBHS? That's a great question, Marissa. I am on the product design team here. So I am one of the scientific communicators. I take what our engineering team does and help translate that into tangible things that homeowners can do. Because one of the great things about IBHS is that we're looking for the practical solutions, not everything in the kitchen sink that you could do to strengthen your home, because that would be unaffordable and unachievable for all of us. But IBHS is focused on the tangible things that give you the most benefit when severe weather strikes, like a stronger garage door. A wind-weighted garage door can reduce the chance of structural damage to your roof and home. And if you start looking after a tornado, you see how garage door failures start the cascade of damage that tears apart so many communities. A stronger roof, we all have to replace our roofs at some point, and that's the best opportunity to make an investment in the resilience of your home. And based on some of our work, a simple sealed roof deck that provides a secondary water barrier, it's a few extra dollars, but it can keep you in your home, even if your roof is damaged in a hurricane, in a tornado, in a derecho, in so many of these different weather events. These are these small incremental steps that if we can integrate that into society into our conversations more, we can really reduce the impact of severe weather on communities, which lets all of us weather weenies enjoy the weather a little bit more. So tell us a little bit about your typical day at work, or do you not have one? There is no typical day here at IBHS, and, and that's part of the, the great aspect of what we do. But my favorite days are the days that I get to help tell the stories of our scientists, of our engineers, and their work. That can range from editing technical scientific research reports and helping them explain some of the work that's happening in our large test chambers, talking about wind loads on structures and things like that. Or sometimes we get to go out in the field and I've had the opportunity to go out with our Hale field study that works closely with Dr. Kumjin from Penn State, looking at the characteristics of hail and hailstorms and collecting some of the fundamental data that we need from the field in order to recreate hail in the lab to test building products and materials against it. How do you think your previous experience, especially here at Penn State, helped prepare you for this? How long do you have? <laughs> so much of what I did at Penn State translates every day to what I do here at IBHS. From this very studio that I am sitting in talking to you, my weather world experience, both in front of and behind the camera, 
directly helps me be able to help our scientists tell their stories, both from the technical side of building this studio to being in front of it and hosting webinars for our insurance industry members. All of that comes into play here every day because it's not just about understanding the science that Penn State so well prepared me to understand, but it's also about communicating that. And that's where the unique aspects of the weather communications group at Penn State really pay dividends for me because I can do both the science and the communication side. And that's a unique skill set that not everyone has, but comes in really handy at a place like IBHS, where we have some fantastic engineers doing lots of cool work. And we need to be able to communicate that to a wide variety of audiences. We only have a few seconds left here, and we always like to finish these segments off with what is your favorite memory from your time at Penn State? Oh, there are so many, but some of my favorite and fondest memories looking back are just being up in the Weather Center in Walker Building, watching snow squalls and severe weather roll through State College. Those opportunities to share that meteorological moment with a bunch of other like-minded weather weenies was always a fun time and a great break from whatever assignment or class we were studying for and really kept me energized in doing my work. Well, you'll be happy to know we're still doing that here now when uh, the weather, fun weather rolls into town. So Christina Grapp, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us here today on Weather World. And we'll be back in a moment with more.